Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing. A quick update here uh, on the coins. You can see they've been pumping a little bit since this morning, right? And we'll take a look at this real quick. Where we're at currently. You can see we pumped up above the moving average just north of this $54,300 and $69 target that we had down there. And that's the bottom part of the rising wedge that we're in because we got rejected right there off that, not 70,000, but that's gonna be right about the 65,000 off the top of the rising channel. Uh, now we're getting a little buy up, but we think we're gonna get rejected by the 200 day as it's 200 days trending down. And it's gonna force us down to the $54,000 mark, right? That's where we think we're going still. So, and that's where we think we're going still we think we're going to come at least retest this fifty-four thousand, where that little target is down there because if we zoom on out we're in, the, in an overall bigger picture you see this rising channel we're in if we come back we traded into it and hit resistance up here once and came to lower support hit resistance up here and now we're coming down looking maybe to hit support again right so we think we're trending down and Bitcoin, we think we're going to get rejected. We don't. We think this temporary bullish move off of the bearish uh, fl flash crash it, per se is just that a uh, quick bull, a quick pump up to just get flushed out again. It's. I think it's got to come down. And then the same thing with XRP. We diagnosed this out pretty good for you. Told you it was coming down to the dollar six level, and then it broke back up, and then it crashed below it. I didn't crash below, but came below and got supported by an old support zone that, or an old resistance zone. And this, we need to change this from white because the other one's white. This old resistance zone that flipped now to support right there, and you got bounced off it. And we put down a hundred and or one dollar and fifteen cent target today if we got supported from down there, right? If we broke down today, we'd come to ninety two cents. But it looks like we're going to get up into these moving averages, and then I think that would get you rejected just like it did right back in front of it right here right so that's what i think you got to look forward to in xrp is in these moving averages can you get on top of them and try to come way up there to the green ring or are you going to get chopped down again and then trade back down which is the more probable solution out of this at this time but we'll keep you updated throughout the weekend uh dogecoin's the same thing it's up four percent and you can see we think it's coming down to this green ring slash blue support line underneath and we think this is just a quick bounce up before another leg to the downside as the moving averages are all trending down. The 200 is going to be coming like that as the price continues to run into it with less volume. I think it's going to get kicked down and that moving averages overhead are going to act bearish and knock it down, right? As we move in the dent, Jerome's been watching dent as we broke bearish. Now we're starting to have a little pump, but this too, I think obviously we didn't take that route when we were looking at something up there. I think if you come up right now, Jerome, these moving averages are gonna knock it down. And I don't think it's gonna get on the top side of that. And I think it's gonna knock it down. And we are coming down to this underneath target just above the shit house before we could even think about having any substantial move, right? So that's what I'm looking forward to here. I don't think you're getting on the top side of that. I think any run that Dunn has right now gets ultimately rejected and shut down right in its face up into here where these moving averages are right up there. I don't think you can get much above that, right, Jerome? So that's what we're going to be watching out for. And it's still below the 200-day moving average in the two or the three and the four-hour time frame. So we know it's bearish. The same thing with this. I think you're running up into the moving average now after you got some support off underneath old resistance down there, right? And I think you're going to get, just as we were calling, come back up into there and you're back testing our major support line that you broke. And I think you're going to get confirm this as resistance with our industry exclusive drawing tool. And I think they're going to hit this and it's going to force it back down. But that's what we're going to watch out forward to. That's what we're going to look at. Hit that subscribe button. Help support the channel to get us to a thousand subscribers at Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. Peace and love. Peace and love.